Yeah, Robert, here on Creek Bend, the water has receded significantly since earlier on in the day. But look through this fence. You'll see that stone wall. Just on the other side of that stone wall is the creek. In fact, that wall was built to keep the creek from flooding into this neighborhood. But there was enough rainfall on this side of the wall that the water rushed up into the neighborhood over here, if I can get around these people on the road, all the way to the curb line, and the people in these houses could not leave if they didn't do it quick enough. It was the wrong day to sleep in. I'm embarrassed because I don't ever sleep late. Late one time I did, yeah. <laughs> rise and shine, rising water. My brother woke me up saying, hey, um, you got to look outside. By then, there was no way Jeremy Acosta and others could get out with their cars. And with the street swallowed by water, they wondered what else could go. Is the water up in your house yet? No, not yet. Are you worried that it will be? Uh, round two, yeah, I'm worried about that. My mother-in-law is having to take about 10 to 15 people in her home right now because their houses are just starting to flood. Familiar nightmares, evacuations, and rescues happened in many of the same neighborhoods off Pleasant Valley that were rocked two years ago. There are many streets that are blocked off. And those left behind had to think fast, at least faster than the water. When do you plan on leaving? As soon as I figure out what to do with the most important items. You see this car, it is dripping dry here in the road. This is the one that actually got about halfway deep in the water. They had to push it out. They weren't sure if it was even going to be able to operate afterwards. Now, this neighborhood, as I said, the water's receded quite a bit. There are other parts here in and around the Onion Creek area that weren't quite as lucky. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you about some rescues that had to take place in this area. For now, we're live in southeast Austin. Chris Sadegui, KXAN News.